So in this video, we're actually going to look at 7 and 8 together because we, on, for the Excel, if you're using Excel, by one step, you will be able to get the both questions answered, okay? 7 and 8. What are the possible numeric measures to measure the central center or central tendency of for one variable? And as 8, what are the possible numeric measures uh, to measure the variability or dispersion for one variable? <clears throat> so when we are summarizing using the, the keyword in both question has numeric measures. So we are not looking for the tabular display or graphical display. Instead, we are looking for numeric measures. So we learned this from chapter 3. So when we are learning this from chapter 3, numeric measures. And so every time you have the data, if people are looking for numeric, num numeric measures or numeric summarization, you have to show in central location and variability. You cannot just show in central location without uh, pointing out the variability. You also cannot just show in variability without pointing out central uh, tendency or central location. Both are crucial information you have to discuss in any statistical analysis. Uh, if you are looking for the numeric summarization, numeric summarization. So, okay, so seven, numeric summarization. So the answer will including mean, median, mode. So mean, median, mode. And for the second, the numeric measure for the variability, we have range, variance, standard deviation, coefficient of vari variation, coefficient of variation. So those are the answers for seven and eight. So now, like I said, in this question, we are focusing on the method, how to use Excel to generate the answers. So this is the data we already used multiple times for the previous questions. So let's see, we're going to generate the, <clears throat> uh, the mean, medium, the central location and the variability for, uh, let's see, for, um, for Wayne, for Wayne. And so it's never be a bad idea to generate your numeric description for all variables because you can pick which one you're going to use. But one thing you have to keep in mind, the numeric uh, summarization for x1 is useless because it is a category data. So the numeric uh, description would be more helpful for y, x2, and x3. So they are quantitative data. So let's do it together. In order to use the method I mentioned very efficient, you need to make sure under the data tab you have the data analysis. So make sure you will not include the column C, the V, because that is not in uh, uh, numeric numbers. So the Excel won't be able to generate your outcomes. So there's two options. You can delete the column or you can move your column to another places. So let's just move my column to another places. Okay, so that I would just try to not select my category data. So now I can start to data analysis, and then I will choose the uh, the distributed statistics. Uh, distributed statistics, click OK. Now I'm gonna select the C to F column. Oh, sorry, uh, D to F column. So I just try to not select the column C, the league, because that is not numeric. So the Excel will not generate any uh, numeric discrete statistic for league. So now I had a wing in column F, okay? So I'm including the first row, that is my label, that's why I'm going to check the box labels, and then you can click OK. So now I got my result. I can make it wider. So obviously my first two, four co column, A, B, C, D, E, they are related to X2, X3, we don't need it. We only need the last two column for wing. So obviously mean is here, meter is here, mode. So those are the measure of the central location. And the variability is measured by the standard deviation, sample variance, and the range, and the range, right? So we have everything here. So we have the central location and the variability. Obviously, we have our skewness as well, which measure the shape of distribution. So now you have your result, and then you just need to analyze it. Analyze it.